survivors it's your girl Mariko here and today I want to talk about a little bit about my background my life um, what I've gone through my journey to recovery just a little bit more insight in who I am really and what I've kind of gone through um, you know with everything there's always a story behind it and I'm a true believer now in my life because I wasn't always like this but I'm a true believer now that you know there comes a time when you can't really keep blaming your past for your future and just take the positives out of a negative situation if there's any and just keep keep moving with that roll with that and you know reflecting I don't reflect like I haven't looked back on my life in a long time um but yeah I feel like you know I'm at that point where I can talk about it and it doesn't really affect me I can just like just yeah express what I've gone through without having a nervous breakdown about it but yeah so again it's all about understanding you know there's a lot of people that sign up for so what they feel is normal they don't sign up for you know the abnormal what they don't understand what they can't comprehend and when that often happens and you know when they meet that that type of thing that force they type of like they melt down or they react negatively or they bolt or, or like they, they they just duck out or completely and for me you know i went into care when i was what 11 years old so for me i've kind of like for good what 10 plus years i didn't have that family do you know what i mean i had home after home foster care after foster care and i was bouncing around all over the place but it all started with my mental illness really because my mum just thought i was a bad child at the time don't get me wrong me and my mum are amazing we are amazing right now she's like my best friend and i wouldn't change her for the world but there was a time where she thought everything that i was doing there was an explanation for it which is i'm doing it on purpose because you know how many times i got told off i was doing it over and over again and yeah just to her it was like obviously um you know what you're doing like and for me i didn't know what i was doing but i was so young that it didn't none of it made sense none of it made sense whatsoever so there's also that you know you're going to come across people that are thinking that you can control all your emotions what you're talking about you, you, you know what i mean everything that you're saying you're in full control of that when actually with borderline personality disorder you're really not in control of a lot of the emotions that you have and a lot of the things that come out of your mouth so even down to parents as well we have to depends on on what they have done not everybody can you can't just turn around and say oh yeah we can just forgive and forget that's not how it normally works but in some situations in my situation anyway i can talk about me is i can forgive because it was a genuine didn't know what was going on and if i have to look at it at in a non-biased way i gotta look at it objectively and think okay the things that i done when i was younger if i never even knew anything to do with mental illness if i never had a clue about it or a clue about children even being affected in any way by anything well, how would i see my my behavior as 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 on the outside and yeah i understand don't get me wrong i don't i personally wouldn't just say yeah just put your child in care but at the end of the day i'm not my mom i'm not other parents out there there's a lot of people as i said to you a lot of people can't cope with everything and that's okay and that's the way that she dealt with it and yes i went through certain situations in care that i can turn around and say to you that i wish i never went through this why did i go through that and i can go through the pity party and i can go through self following and all the rest of it but the truth remains that when you look at look at it and you think to yourself okay well if i didn't go through this and i didn't go through that would i have met this amazing person would i have gone through this amazing thing would i have the amazing children that i have now would i have the amazing partner that i have now you know at the end of the day bad and good things that happen to you do mold you some for positive and some negatively you know there's a lot of things that i think to myself i do now because of my experiences or i make my children have you know the best of everything because of how i was when i was in care you know unfortunately 
I do understand that care is there. I do understand that organisation is needed. I'm not going to sit here and try and belittle it because of my experience. I'm just one person. I know there's loads of people out there that go into care when they come out and they've had this amazing experience. They had amazing foster like um, parents and you know came out to be really well-rounded individuals. I'm not saying that there's not people out there, but unfortunately there is a lot of people like myself who go through the system and we slip through the cracks and certain things happen to us and no one's held accountable for it and I do I, well not now necessarily but I used to think back to myself thinking oh you know if I didn't go through this my mental health wouldn't have been as bad as it is now and blah blah be that as it may you can't change the past it's happened do you know what I mean um I can sit here and think about it, I can not think about it, it doesn't change the fact that it's happened. I can only change the fact the way that I react to it when I think about it or how I react to it if I wanted to apply it into something that I'm doing or expressing that to somebody. I can only change the way that that's going to affect me. Am I going to go around like being trapped in my own mind for days thinking how could that happen to me blah blah or am I gonna think to myself that you know what it doesn't matter you know it doesn't, it doesn't matter anymore it's not important anymore you know it ain't all of my life right now what's important is my beautiful children my life you know like my day to day and I don't know I just think to myself there's some people I understand that you can't get over everything as I said in my previous videos it's hard it's a road do you know what I mean it is it's something for instance I might be in recovery but it doesn't mean I am cured there's no cure for what we have you know there is recovery there is times of being completely recovered there's times of being not recovered you know there's times of being like trapped in your own mind and stuff like that i have to make a conscious decision every single day i gotta be conscious about myself i gotta be self-aware i gotta make sure that i avoid my triggers i gotta make sure that i know all of my triggers i gotta make sure that i don't i i come out of my own mind and i'm actually engaging like socially day to day it's a constant thing it's it's literally a road but it does feel good to be in that position where i know more or less how i'm gonna be every day whereas when i was really ill and really sick and i didn't know who i was gonna be i didn't know um what mood i was gonna be in i didn't know if someone's gonna say this one little thing and i'm gonna be erratic i didn't know if i'm gonna be crying all day or if i'm gonna be super like like happy and then something someone says something or something happens and my whole world comes crashing down you know i don't necessarily have to think like that every day because i'm being self-aware when you lose that when you stop looking at yourself and when you stop focusing on your recovery those things can hit you off guard and before you know it, you could be down that road again and then start your recovery all over again you know there's nothing wrong with relapsing there's nothing wrong with that you know i used to be so afraid of oh, oh, oh am i gonna lose this person i can't be myself that 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 fear and that irrationality that i had made my illness worse because i was literally focusing on that i was internalizing that and i was making it everything i was making it my focus of everything and those thoughts are not healthy not healthy for me they're not healthy for people that have this type of mental illness we need to try our best to get out of our own minds a little bit more and every single day it will get better i.e you might not you might have a bad day you might you know you might melt down or you might cry and stuff like that that's okay do you know what i mean because every single day there'll be small there'll be small steps small things that show you that you know what i can do this there'll be small things that you can say wow i didn't do that the day before but i did it today and those things are huge things don't just think to yourself well you could have done more no you generally couldn't have done more or you would have do you know what I mean? Don't limit yourself. Don't think to yourself, oh, you know what? Oh, uh, yeah, that's really positive. But you know what? I could have done da -da -da. That's when we start making ourselves sick. Do you know what I mean? Stop putting yourself down and having self-doubt and all the rest of it because it's not, it's not good for you. It really isn't healthy for you. It isn't healthy for me. And I think to myself, I am my worst enemy when it comes down to my, my mental illness. Nobody else can make me feel as bad as I make myself feel. So I need to make sure that what I'm putting into myself is nothing but positivity. Do you understand what I mean? So with that, I think 
you need to pat yourself on the back every single day constantly do you know if you woke up today and you didn't cry as much as the day before well done to you if you woke up today and you had that five minutes of bliss well done to you all those little things if you try to actually do write a book do you know what i mean about how your emotion how you feel every single day emotion book is a very good thing to keep track of your emotions keep track keep track of your um um your triggers and stuff like that write everything down that's a win do you know what i mean and eventually you'll become somebody who is on that road to recovery it's just like children i always say to people you know with how a child is you know all my children they go through their tantrums they go through their stages they go through a stage where they're mommy 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 daddy 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 and eventually one day it will just stop one day it won't be mummy 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 because they've learned to do it themselves it won't be they're having a tantrum because they've grown out of that do you know what i mean they've, they've grown out of having a tantrum over that thing and it'll be a new thing replacing that and so on and so forth we're exactly the same we haven't changed from the child that's how we learn do you know what I mean? So today it might be something that we can't get rid of, but if you work on it within within a couple of weeks, it will be a bad habit broken. It'll be something that you think to yourself, wow, oh, I don't really do that no more. That's that's awesome. And th that's what you need to like work for. And that's me constantly. This is gonna be me for the rest of my life having to monitor my emotions having to avoid certain situations having to talk you know you have to talk you have to express if people around you love you for who you are and they want you to 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 be in recovery then you know they will support you and the, and you need to talk to them once you talk to them and let them know this is what i need not that what i want this is what i need this is what i need to to be better this is what i need to feel better this is what i need on my way to recovery anybody that loves you and wants the best for you will do that trust me sometimes we think to ourselves oh they're not going to help us they're not going to do all these things they're they're out for themselves or whatever but sometimes if you just talk to them it's not really what we think there's they, there are more people willing to help you than there's not in your circle do you know what i mean i have amazing family i have amazing extended family and i don't know what i would do without them and that all came from me talking i used to have nobody i used to push everybody away i used to think to myself i can do everything by myself or they they don't like me or before even someone even talks to me i'm not gonna have to make any new friends i don't know new friends because you know they're there they're, they're not gonna want who i am they're not gonna accept who i am you know i sabotage things before they even got off the ground and when i started talking and being myself and letting people know that you know what this is me this is me and i'm sorry if it doesn't you know fit in your standard normal i don't want to be normal I'm, I'm happy that i'm a bit edgy and i'm myself and i'm, I'm a fun mum. i like that i don't want to be normal and just just dry like that's not who i am and once i open my mouth and just just thought to myself if i get negativity i get it if i don't get it then it's a win i actually won more than i did lose and because of that look at my life like if someone said to me 10 12 years ago Oh, you're gonna have four beautiful children you can have one on the way you're gonna have a partner you're gonna get married you know um, you're gonna be engaged you're gonna have this this amazing life you're gonna be on the road of to recovery off medication um, just living your life and and, and just, just being a family and having all these really cool friends and all this stuff I would have been like what what reality is that because at that time i used to just say to myself that's not for me that's for that person that you see walking down the road holding hands with their partner being all happy that's for that person that you see with their father and their and their mother and happy and whatever that's for them that's not for me like i'm 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 nothing i'm nobody i used to have such a a really horrible outlook on on me and to look at that person now i feel sorry for that person Cause that person it like i spent so much time literally torturing myself nobody else was torturing me i was i was in my mind torturing myself for so long for no reason absolutely no reason and i wasted time time precious time that i'm not going to get back and this is why i refuse to waste any now by being negative don't get me wrong if something happens and i end up relapsing or whatever then i know it's no fault of my own do you know what i mean i didn't sit there and just 
antagonize about it and internalize about it until it became a huge problem um until it became a a, a, a depression i didn't do that to myself something happened and i literally couldn't couldn't handle it and my mind couldn't handle it and i had rather relapsed that is better than relapsing on purpose kind of because you kind of let your mind just be destroyed by yourself when you're self-aware it's a beautiful thing and i think to myself that everyone everyone everybody can get there i don't believe that there's lost causes i don't believe that some people shouldn't have get a helping hand everyone has their their limit that they can get to with help and it might not be as high as mine it might not be as low as mine there might be a, another level to me do you know what I mean I know there is and I think to myself that everyone deserves that chance they deserve that friend they deserve that understanding person they deserve family they deserve comfort they deserve an understanding air and that is that is if you could do anything for anybody that's what you should do you should you should actually just listen listen take your time to listen to them and treat them like human beings there's too much stigma out there for many many things and it makes it so much harder for people to get help when all they hear is negative things about being mentally ill there's nothing wrong with being mentally ill there's nothing wrong trying to get yourself better and there's nothing wrong taking medication to do that there's nothing wrong with seeing somebody to help you manage yourself there's absolutely nothing wrong with that and whoever makes anyone feel that there is something wrong with that then it shows more about yourself than it is about the person that's trying to get help just just say it so yeah um this is me Ruriko Yamazaki I'm signing out hopefully that was a little bit more insight in who I am and my story and just know that you're loved and you're all that's needed and there's someone out there that will lend that helping air to you and hand there's somebody out there that will cherish who you are with everything that's going on with you and there's someone out there that wants you to be who you want to be and will actually strive for that to happen so just know that and yes catch you in the next video peace